Hello, this is Chad Adams from Skeleton Key in St. Louis, Missouri, and this is video number two in our series on text parsing. All right, we're going to look at right, right words, and right values. Um, these are going to be very similar to the left function. It's just we're working from the different side of the text block. So if I put in my text block here, and I put in the number of characters as one, we're going to see that grab this in. Left, grab the leftmost um, character in this text block. Right's going to grab the rightmost character. Um, it's maybe easier to think about that if you have a big long string of text instead of some carriage return text here, but uh, this should still serve our purpose. So we'll do evaluate. I get the end. And let's go ahead and come in here and I'll just change this so that we only have one string of text. It might be a little easier to see how that works. So in my right, I get the E off the end here. If I tell it I want two characters, then I'm going to get the OE off the end. All right. Um, so let's take a look at what right words does. Write words two is going to grab John Doe for me. Write words one would grab just Doe. All right, and if I were to monitor this and put back in Jane Doe, then we would still see Doe be the answer there. But whenever I change it back to two, then I will see Jane be um, the answer. So write words very similar to the left words, just working from a different side of the text block. Write values works the same as left values in that it counts the carriage return as the delimiter and it's going to go back however many uh, lines of text there are given how many carriage returns there are. So here I've got two, Jane Doe and John Doe. If I were to pick out one, I would get just Jane Doe. And the difference here again with right values, it's going to put the carriage return on the end um, of, the, of, the, of the string that it returns. So in, in my text block up here, I don't actually have a carriage return on the end. There's no, there's no return there, but the right values is going to put one there um, really as a, as a preparation for me to have a, a, some other calculation that's going to put something on the end of my calc, so it's, it's just getting prepared. But uh, this carriage return that's on the end right here is in fact not in my text. The right values function adds that to the end.